up YouTube. I just dropped off a student, uh, so I'm heading to another student. I'm just gonna make a video uh, showing you how to smoothly and uh, confidently drive on the highway. So the highway is, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say a much more dangerous place, but because of the higher speeds, it is essentially a lot more dangerous. So, you know, with confidence and, you know, a little bit of composure, driving on the highway is you know, pretty easy for an experienced person. So uh, I'm just gonna make a video just showing how I handle the highway driving. And um, yeah, I just want you to go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already you know we need the support to build the channel and uh, hit that notification bell share the video all right so yeah on the highway I generally try to keep you know as close to the, the maximum speed as possible whatever the, the posted speed that you see on the highway is it's usually the maximum speed allowed. I am generally not a speeder, so I try to keep as close to the speed limit as possible. I'm not going too far above it. I'm not going too far below it. So I try to stay within the speed limit. And uh, drive at a pace where I have you know, enough space between me and the car that is in front of me. Like for instance, I'm doing, say, 70 miles per hour, right? At 70 miles per hour, you wanna have two car lengths for every 10 miles per hour that you're going. So you wanna make sure you have enough room that just in case someone decides to jump on their brakes for whatever reason, if they have to stop for an emergency, you know, if you are right up underneath them, then you're going to hit them. I mean, you're gonna have to try to swing away and hope that there's no one in the other lane, or you have no choice but to hit them. So you have to allow enough room that you can safely stop. And I, as a general rule, yeah, I don't just change lanes for fun. I change lanes when it's necessary. So I stay in my lane and I try to maintain a constant speed. And again, you maintain a constant speed by adjusting the level. I mean, when you're, when you're an experienced driver, you can generally put the speed at wherever you want it and keep it there. Like I can, I can just keep my foot in one steady level that keeps the speed at 70 miles per hour. You know what I mean? And when, once you're driving for a while, you get to the point where you can actually maintain the, the proper speed or whatever your desired speed is. So, for me, staying at 70 miles per hour is pretty, pretty easy, and it will get that way for you also as a new driver. And when you do decide to change lane, yeah, you will go ahead and put on your turn signal, and you will look up here in the rear view mirror. You will look in the side mirror. As you notice, there's that white car coming up in the side mirror. And then you will look in the blind spot, which is over here to the left, because I am going left. And then you go over. Nice and gradual and extremely smooth. Like you're not making any big drastic turn because that will, especially at this higher rate of speed, making a big turn to change lane, you could, you could actually lose control of the car. So you make a nice gradual smooth turn. And again, the more relaxed you are, the, the easier driving is. So driving on the highway, you just cannot be all nervous and tense. Uh, I, I'll say, honestly, if you're so nervous that you're a danger to yourself and other people on the highway, then maybe you're not ready for the highway. You should only go on the highway when you're comfortable enough to drive on the highway. I get a lot of students that is requesting, you know, oh, can I go on the highway? No, you're not ready for the highway. I tell them all that. If I, whenever, whenever I decide to take you on the highway, because I am, I have confidence that you can literally get on the highway and safely get off the highway. 
So I don't take everyone that wants to go on the highway on the highway because I know everyone cannot do it. That everyone is not confident enough uh, to drive on the highway and uh, not capable of driving on the highway. So if I decide to take you on the highway, it's because I've decided that yeah, okay, this person is good enough to drive on the highway. So, you know, you wait until you're ready. When you're confident that you can do it and you're comfortable enough you know, in how you control the car, you go on the highway and you drive as you would, you know, on the normal road. Because really, it is a normal road. It's just a faster road. You have no lights, you know. You have no traffic lights, so it's usually faster unless there's a traffic jam. So, you know, the highway is a necessary place to drive on. It's just you don't drive on it until you're ready. So I'm giving you, if you notice, how, you know, it's, it's just nice and relaxed and smooth. I really just drive in my lane and change lane when it's necessary. I'm going to be turning on Broward Boulevard. So if you notice, I'm passing Sunrise Boulevard now. So I will signal here. I will look up there again. I look into the blind spot on the right side. I look in the mirror on the right side, and then I will look on the blind spot. And I will gradually, and I emphasize gradually, because you don't make a big sudden turn. You go gradually over, going over one more lane, because I am exiting on Broward Boulevard. Now, these people are entering the highway. So as I am turning to go to the right, I'll have to slow down to allow them the space to safely get on the highway, because I am actually getting off the highway, right? So you, you make adjustments in your speed to accommodate other cars or to keep you safe, right? So I'm exiting on Broward Boulevard on my way to pick up my second student for the day. This is actually Sunday, the day after 4th of July, July 5th. And uh, I work every day, so, you know, that's, that's my life. All right, so... Broward Boulevard, I'm going to make a right here, and then I'm going to pretty much end the, end the video, right, so I can go, alright, okay, so that was my little highway driving tip video, uh, so again, just please like the video, share the video to anyone that is interested in learning to drive or new drivers or anyone that you know that is afraid of driving on the highway because I know people that have driver's license for years and don't get on the highway so share the video with them also and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already and I will see you on the next video